Uh, hi, I'm Ryan Novakovich. I'm portraying the role of young Dylan Thomas, and I am a sophomore musical theater major. I'm Amber Robin. I am portraying Caitlin Thomas, and I am a junior musical theater major. Caitlin Thomas actually was Dylan Thomas's real wife in real life, um, but we took artistic liberties because she's not actually in the poem. Um, so we added her as a character that he sort of meets when he's a young boy as opposed to when they really met, which was in their 20s. Um, so she comes in as kind of like the girl next door that he's in love with, but uh, it's not as specific as that. And um, she kind of just represents, as we say, the spirit of love, to, which is added to the spirit of Christmas, which is what the show is about. So. The whole show is interesting in the fact that it is the poem, Child's Christmas and Wales from Dylan Thomas. And so uh, our fellow castmate Andrew portrays uh, older Dylan Thomas, and whenever he travels to his memories <laughs> through his life, uh, I step in as his younger former self, and I uh, handle all the events that's, that are transpiring in the past that the, the audience gets to enjoy and see. It's, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's, I mean, the first production I've ever done anything like this, the fact that there was really no set script and no set parts. I mean, we didn't really know what we were doing. Yeah, the poem. That's what everything's built upon. Yeah. But a lot of the music is original music by people in the cast. Um, there's lots of things that we've added that are just completely created by the cast. It's like our little brainchild. Everyone's sort of, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's sort of thrown something in, and I think that's what's going to make it so special for everyone to see and to experience because it's all it's from original, us. It's original, yeah. It's such a creative process working with Mark. He wants everyone to collaborate, and he's very he advocates that very yeah. much, and he wants everyone to be he a part of the process. Us. More. Yeah, even even uh, I always thought even for callbacks, it was the most interesting set of callbacks we ever yeah. had because we just it, it wasn't so formal. You just got in and you had fun and you made things for a callback. You just made things together, and it was I don't know. I, I still remember how haunting like the scene that we did. We had to make up scenes, and it was yeah. it still sticks with me. It was it was very cool. I found out about Point Park basically just through the college search. Um, I went to an arts high school, so um, I mean there's posters everywhere and you just talk to everybody about their different experiences applying to school and somewhere along the way somebody mentioned it, so I looked into it and since I was looking for schools that I could do musical theater and also had strong dance departments, that stood out immediately. If you want to perform and entertain, which is what we all want to do and, and have fun, I mean, like Amber said, the, you get the right teachers and the right techniques and they make sure you're well equipped when you go out into the professional world and they take it very seriously. So this, if you want to learn, this is where you go. You could not go to school for it and just trust your instinct or your talent, but ultimately you don't have technique then and you don't really know um, you don't have the tools to really build something for yourself. You need classes, you need people who have been in the business to teach you. And the other part of it is that it also teaches you artistry. Um, and it's, the field is so much more enjoyable when um, you know what you're doing on a deeper level.